Oh, yeah, okay. Um, talking about clubbing, um, Together We Dance Alone. This is, I, sh- I should have probably mentioned this earlier on beforehand, but um, one of my favorite DJs, Dixon, has his own clothing line and he's kind of talk- he spoke about it a little bit in this um, little interview that happened, I think, a couple of years or maybe a year ago. Is it a year ago? Yeah, last year. He's kind of DJ, which I didn't I didn't know that, that the company that he actually saw. So, anyway, Dixon is a world famous um, techno DJ or electronic DJ for the most part. Um, was once voted um, RA's top DJ in the, in the world four years in a row um, and kind of rose to prominence. And then, like, suddenly, you know, because he's an amazing artist and has his own kind of way of thinking, he suddenly decided to kind of cut all these gigs and start and, and kind of commit to so doing 100 gigs a year. And then he's kind of cut it even more, I think, now in these later years. And he's kind of really concentrated on making sure he kind of pushes his own parties that he does uh, with his label Innovision. But essentially, just like, you know, one of the most seminal and influential DJs out at the moment, probably a real technician of the craft and also some somebody that's a bit of a showman he's kind of just he's different in all aspects from his clothing to his points of view on the industry to how he approaches releases to the people on his label and now he's suddenly kind of branched off into fashion you know he's always been someone that's quite fashionable he's kind of the first dj i saw on stage who wasn't wearing rigoins right and and the lamusia and shit like that right i think the first time i saw him play i think or the first time i've kind of noticed him i saw him because because i think he was wearing a com de garçon shirt shirt right and i was like shit okay this is pretty cool and i kind of looked into him and then find that he was just kind of this amazing dj and he's got like a really great history um i think he used to be a former footballer and he kind of had to quit because he hurt his knee he's got a sandwich shop somewhere in frankfurt where he's from um he's just really cool and eclectic dude and now he started his own label um called uh, Together We Dance Alone. And the uh, premise behind it is a deconstruction of club wear to catch the madness and the sadness of dancing. Exhilarated but exhausted, together but alone. Like, amazing, right? Kind of a, a, a kind of um, an extension of kind of anti-social social club, right? But done in a kind of clothing style. In a, sorry, done in a clubbing environment way. And the clothing looks pretty cool for the most part. I, mean, I wasn't really paying attention to it previously, but I kind of stumbled upon it again. And it looks really nice. We've got here, um, we've got the, is it launch? it says is it that's a launch shirt right so we've got here the together we dance alone launch shirt it looks really cool some nice prints on it some great metal fonts on there all fully stocked on the website which is which is funny to see actually i thought this would have been sold out but yeah it looks really cool it reminds me a little bit of um i forgot what brand it is that does the strings on the end of it i think it's a japanese brand that does like um they make like a font and then there's like strings hanging off of it i forgot what the brand is but yeah um these look really nice great shirt as per usual there's a there's a sakai collaboration which you've been a fan of which i'm not really that fan of to be honest but i know people like it it looks really good on on him wearing it anyway together and again uh and my favorite is probably this long sleeve here which is the the classic is back which is what the classic is back white on black long sleeve with a together with dance initials printed on it yeah this is my favorite tee i think of them all um it's sort of like it's got together with dance on one sleeve it's got the together with dance motif on the front chest and on the back it's got the weird kind of like shadowy figure um standing in the sunlight that looks really cool it comes in black and it comes in white too but yeah a really cool um clothing line that dixon started and he gave a really cool interview as well about it on forbes so i'll link in the show notes he kind of talks about the brand and how he started it with his wife which i wasn't too familiar about um, his wife is actually the art director of Innovisions, which is fucking awesome. Uh, his wife's name is... Uh, what's his wife's name? Da, 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 da. Um, Anna Ofak. She's an artist and creative director in her own right, and she kind of helped out with doing a brand. So that looks really awesome. Um, how do you mention it? How do you start it? Da, 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 da. And it's all, and I, I was wondering, because I think all this is to feed into his club events that he's doing. Um, Lost in Sound, which is a really cool way to do things. I think he's done a lot of corporate collaborations, the Louis Vuitton stuff, um, the thing with Gran Turismo or GTA, sorry, where he was in the game and he provided a mix as well for the car, which is awesome. Um, and now he's doing all this merch and stuff. So it looks like he's trying to get as many sponsors, as many streams of income as he can to avoid having to be sponsored by different corporations, right? Which is where the kind of the artistry of the the kind of pure artistry dies. It's the hard balance in that between commerce, between artistry and commerce, right? How to kind of balance it and probably the only way to do it is either to raise your prices, right? To raise your kind of rate as a DJ or to kind of, you know, uh, diversify your income streams to have different revenues, lines of income. So that hopefully that can then lend itself to putting on a show because one thing you can't, 
fault Dixon and Innovision for is taking their foot off the pedal because those Innovision lost in sound parties are insane. They put them in really crazy, like, ridiculous locations like Israel and some fucking palace in the middle of France or some shit. They caught, picked some really interesting places and to kick those places out with a full PA system must be really, really difficult to do. So I'm really like a big fan of what they're doing. And again, like I said, um, I just think this is probably the best way to kind of get all that money and to kind of have it sponsor uh, parties and events you want to do. Um, so he mentions the kind of inspiration for the line is as follows. Uh, teaming up with my wife was a progression for an appreciation of club culture, discussing his openness and trying to figure out how to communicate his creativity other than through music, which is interesting because I think I mentioned before, like I found it really difficult finding club wear. I think whenever you go to like a proper nightclub, like the times I, I went to, fo I went to fold when, no, sorry, I went to Mixed Garage when Pussy Palace was on, right? Pussy Palace is like one of the best kind of queer nights out there, right? They do amazing parties. They kind of host them all over the place. But for the last two, the last couple I've been to, I've been at Mixed Garage, right? And they really put on a big production. They smash it. They're amazing. They have a stage show. They have someone voguing. It's really amazing open space for people to go to and have a good time. Um, but one thing that I, what was I going to say? Oh, one thing that I noticed is that when you go to those kind of places, you realize that like club wear, for the most part, yeah, club kids, it's the same kind of thing, the outfits. It doesn't really change. They're cool, they're amazing, but they're probably a little bit too much for me, right? When it comes to harnesses, when it comes to gags, when it comes to fishnet t-shirts, when it comes to uh, latex trousers, when it comes to crotchless pants, right? That's the kind of only the vibe that it appeals to. And for the most part, it's, there's a reason for it, right? Because most of the club culture or club kids wear comes from the idea of showcasing your creativity, you know, um, especially in a gay scene um, on a night out, right? So you'd kind of go a bit crazy, especially the Vogue scene. You'd kind of spend all week saving up money, putting together an amazing outfit, making it yourself and then you spend the Saturday kind of like showcasing it right and what you did even if you're working out whatever you may be doing right that was a chance for you to kind of show out um but it's not really a kind of medium ground when it comes to club wear and I don't necessarily want to go to a club and always just have a black t-shirt on and jeans right I want to be a little bit you know uh dandy looking right um but there's a kind of a line between like dandy and kind of a little bit OTT over the top for my own liking and um I think this is a and I think what Dixon's doing with this um a little bit of that together we dance alone line is a good kind of medium ground right because he's he's well known for being a dj that doesn't just wear black so he's always wearing kind of bright colors even the merch they do for their night it's always kind of bright yellows reds oranges like limes he's got the collaboration with sakai which is very bright and very open do you know what i mean like i i can see where the direction is going and i'm hopefully we can kind of see an extension of it and again i think if i was going to do my own collection if i was going to do my own brand i'll do something similar or that kind of ilk right kind of being able to kind of somehow being able to translate what happens on the dance floor into clothing it's really hard to do even to even um to reviewing club nights right resident advisor do an amazing um uh, job at it right if you go and check the events of resident advisor they do a really cool job of kind of reviewing like really cool club nights but it's very difficult to kind of put into words the ambiance and the vibe that happens on that dance floor it's just it's just near and impossible to do so um if if you can kind of get it 10 percent right it really resonates and everyone kind of backs it and i think he's kind of on the right track with this um collection overall um and he continues here, it says, instead of a style, we rather consider it to be a sense or a sensation, like a sensation of catching the madness and sadness of dancing in a club together, but alone, exhilarated by exhausted. See, I love that. That kind of, you know, that that's essentially what it is. It's like, um, what is it called? Um, what's that book? Uh, is it Dancing? No. Uh, dancing to Architecture or something like that, right? That, I think that's what it said about reviewing music. That's how hard it may be sometimes. I remember, I think that was a quote, right? Like, review music is like dancing to architecture um the label originally released a limited edition uh long sleeve shirt created in junction with the visual artist christina nagel before releasing a long sleeve styled uh by a japanese fashion brand sakai the two pole lovers created by dixon's label that were available in sakai Ayama, da, da, da. it's interesting because you're probably going to see a collaboration with dixon or innovision with nike and i think that's coming up very soon uh, Sakai is very close with Nike. I know Fraser Cook, who works at Nike, is very close with the uh, founder of Sakai. That's one of his closest friends from the old Japanese scene. Uh, Dixon's always wearing Sakai. I could definitely see a collaboration with Nike coming up in the next few months, if it may be, because I think it looks like he's raising his profile. He's really putting himself out there. He's doing the Louis Vuitton campaign recently. It's soon that Dixon's trying to kind of, you know, branch out a different field. So if you see a collaboration with uh, Nike coming up with Dixon, you know you heard it here first. I've got no inside information. I'm just kind of guessing by the kind of moves he's doing, because Everyone kind of does the same sort of calculate steps to kind of get themselves out there by and large but yeah that's a really cool interview i recommend you check it uh i'll, I'll actually put it in the show notes it's a short interview anyway it's from forbes from 2018 dixon on his clothing label together we dance alone and appearance in graphic auto five but i'll just put it in the show notes for those of you that 